Each statistical analysis in PASW is actually executed through a special programming language behind the scenes. This specific code used for analysis, it can be captured, it can be stored as a script file, and it can also be edited later on. Scripting is a time-saving tool. It automates a series of statistical analysis and your data files can change just as long as you have consistent variables, you can use this particular concept. To create a script file to run the analysis, we first need to open up the data that we want to use. Ensure you have your class data data file open. And the first thing we need to do is prompt PASW to let the program know that we want to start recording and capturing each one of the commands in the log. To do this, we need to first select our edit menu, then select options. In the options dialog box, select the viewer tab. Ensure the display commands in the log checkbox is checked. Then select the OK button. To practice capturing the code, we're going to run through a couple of examples now. First, let's select the data menu so we can work with our split file option. Select split file. To split the file based on the gender variable, select the gender variable now. Select the compare groups option button. Then transfer that gender variable into the groups based on this box. Now this is where the difference lies. Instead of selecting OK to run your analysis, we're going to select the paste option in order to paste the command in your log. A syntax file will appear with your code captured in the log. It's going to keep it as if it's a running record of all the commands that you activate. Let's click on the minimize button and run through another example. Let's practice some more by setting up another test. This time, let's select the analyze menu. Mouse down to descriptive statistics. Then select cross tabs. Select the gender variable and transfer it into the rows list box. Then select the method variable and then transfer that into the columns list box. Once again, select the paste button. Once again, it adds the analysis command to your log. Now, once you have run through all the tests and pasted those commands, you can actually save that as a syntax file and use it for other data files. Select the file menu, then select save as. Choose the desktop as the destination, then give it a name by typing in a word or two in the file name list box. Then select the save button. Now let's see how we work with these syntax files. First, close the syntax file that we currently have open. And now we're going to open up a pre-existing syntax file to see how it works. Select your file menu. Mouse over open. This time, select the syntax option. Locate and select the weekly analysis syntax file. Then select the open button. The weekly analysis syntax should appear with the list of all of the commands that you see listed on the left hand side. Go ahead and take a look through the prompts by scrolling down. There are multiple options that can be accessed depending on what you need to do. Do you need to run all of the analysis now? Is there a particular test that you want to run? You can choose the different ways that you want to go ahead and begin your analysis by selecting the Run menu. 
There are multiple options available to you for running your analysis. The first option, All, it allows you to run each and every one of the commands that are pasted in your log. You have Selection. So if you take a look at our currently selected number 45, which is Regression, it'll simply run that one analysis. Then you have two ends. This will run from your selected analysis, which ours is regression, all the way down through that split file, the graph, the regression, and whichever test that we have after that. The last option, Step Through, allows you to choose which range that you want to run. Let's just go ahead and run All by selecting the All option. It takes but a few moments for PASW to analyze each one of those tests that you have saved in that command. You can take a few moments and scroll through each one of the tests that have been analyzed in your output viewer now.